Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our series on continuous time dynamic programming in economics. In this video, we're going to go through a variant of the cake eating problem called the cake goes bad. Let's go. So the story of this problem is the same like last time with a couple of caveats. We're going to have a consumer deciding how to consume a fixed resource over an infinite uh, continuous time horizon with instantaneous preferences denoted by lawn CT. In this case, however, the depreciation of the resource is going to be at a constant rate where a portion gets removed at each instant. We can think of this like the radioactive decay of uranium. Mathematically speaking, we can think of this as this maximizing over the continuous uh, discounted time horizon from zero to infinity of our utilities uh, subject to this constraint here, right? Our production here is just going to be defined as, you know, just an initial cake size, right? With the cake size at time zero being uh, greater than zero. And the way our uh, cake evolves over time is that there's going to be the portion consumed, right? Which is our control variable. And there's also going to be a depreciation right there. The corresponding hamilton jacobi bellman equation is just what we see right here. This is just the setup over here. And like usual, we're going to be tasked with solving for our policy function with regards to consumption. So the steps for solving this problem is as follows. We're going to write down the hamilton jacobi bellman equation, which is just the analog for our regular discrete time Bellman equation in continuous time. We're going to take our first order conditions and solve for this intermediate CT value. We're going to then sub this result into our initial Bellman equation. After that, we're going to take a guess for what VKT is, and then we're going to sub that guess into our result for step number three and solve for our coefficients. After that, we're going to sub our solution of our coefficients into our guess for VKT. And then using our solution for VKT, we're going to solve for our policy function properly C star at time T. So step number one, we're going to go and write out our Hamilton Jacobi Bellman equation. So we have it written out here and we're just going to plug in uh, the pieces of our problem, that being our instantaneous preferences and our law of motion here. Next is that we're going to take our first order conditions with respect to CT here, and then we're going to go and solve for C tilde T, right? And we go and we get the following. That is our intermediate uh, policy function is going to be equal to uh, V prime of KT, right? Which is our the derivative of our value function KT, right? Inversed. Next is that we're going to sub this result into our initial Bellman equation. So just plugging that in there, we go and we get the following result there. Um, next, we're going to go and take a guess for what VKT is, right? So this is the guess and verify procedure. And we're just going to assume that is similar to our preferences here or our instantaneous preferences here. However, it's going to be entering in linearly with a constant. Um, next, we're going to go and sub our guess into our results for step number three and we're going to solve for those coefficients now deciding for what our guess is going to be is going to be the same because we want our coefficients to be constants they're constants they're not dependent on anything else so we're going to cheekily pick uh one over r just like last time and we see that we're able to go and pull out an expression for c1 that is different from our expression beforehand, this time we have a minus delta over R there when compared to our case where we didn't have depreciation. Next is that we're gonna go and sub our solution of our coefficients into our initial guess for uh, VKT. So we have our guess here and we're just plugging in our values for our coefficients, the one that we solved for and the one that we just let or we just defined. Then we're gonna use this solution to go and solve for our policy function. Uh, CT. So we're just going and plugging in uh, what the derivative is of our guess evaluated at these proper coefficients. And we get our policy function, which is equal to R times KT, which is the cake size at time T. So some of you may be going and asking, what is the capital uh, accumulation equation? Well, what you would be going and doing there is that you'd have the cake size minus the consumption that you go and you have. So this is our video on uh, continuous time dynamic programming where the cake goes bad. I hope this video helps. Take care.